Hello, once again the subject of free trade, because it's really important. The negotiations of a transatlantic trade and investment partnership, TTIP, are going into a next round, and we want to follow this closely. The issue has many different and interesting facets and aspects. For the time being, we stay with the economic consequences of such a treaty. But today, we're going to revisit this issue from a totally different and new perspective. In our last Get Short, we showed you how big TTIP could be and how such a treaty could impact the United States of America, Europe or other different countries worldwide. Who wins and who loses? And what are the economic and political side effects that could arise? In this regard, we showed, among other things, that Europe and Germany might experience 5% additional economic growth and the US possibly even 13% if a comprehensive treaty is successfully concluded. That up to 2 million new jobs could be created in the OECD as a result. And that there could be losers as well as winners, particularly in developing countries. But what does it actually mean for individual sectors and branches of industries? And what does it mean for regions within countries? And what does it mean for human beings and citizens? These particular questions are the ones we want to answer this time around, for Germany as an example. With the help of the researchers of the IFO Institute, the first thing we looked at was how a free trade agreement of that kind could affect the various branches of industries in Germany. What branches of industry will benefit from such a treaty and where will new jobs be created? In this regard, some of our findings were that all branches of industry would benefit from such a treaty except for one and that this indirectly would benefit non-exporting branches to the same extent and that jobs would be created particularly in the electrical industry. All answers about the extent to which branches of industry could be affected by such an agreement can be found in the first insight, which addresses the perspective of branches of industry. In addition, we have also worked on the regional perspective of such an agreement and the question, which German states would benefit from such an agreement? Based on the effect on the branches of industry, we could draw conclusions about regional impacts. In this process, we found out that a free trade agreement would benefit all German states. But there are three states that would benefit particularly with regard to employment and growth. In our second insight, which addresses regional effects, we will show you how a free trade agreement will impact all German states. Finally, we asked ourselves a very important question, namely, how would such an agreement impact people with various skills and professions? Here, we were able to show for the manufacturing industry, new work and new jobs would be created for all skill levels, in other words, for less skilled individuals as well. The real wages of less skilled employees could increase at an even greater rate than the income of highly skilled employees. And some occupational groups would be especially affected by this. In our Insight 3, you can find out more about how such a treaty would affect people with various skills and professions. As always, you will find all results of our calculations in our downloadable comprehensive report or sweet and short in the corresponding policy brief. Likewise, we have prepared various graphics, illustration and tables for you, of course, freely available. If you're interested in additional, completely different aspects and perspectives on TTIP, we recommend you to check out the blog entries or the critical discussions on futurechallenges.org, our partner project. So far, so good. In the name of the whole GED team, 
I wish you a lot of fun with this sketch short.